Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We trust these short online services will inspire you and ennoble you, giving you hope and courage as you shadow God in the redemption of the world. Grace and peace, everybody. Thanks for being with us for church today. Did we lose our joy when we lost our willingness to fully obey?
Psalm 51, verse 12. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Here the psalmist connects joy in salvation to obedience, to a willing spirit. And I want you to think about the joy of your salvation. When you first started following Jesus, um, it was exciting, man. I mean, you get that first rush of Holy Spirit energy. You, you get the sense that you've been changed. You've been bought with the price, that your new life is now found with Christ and God. And it's, it's like this bright flame. I mean, it just, it just sparks. But over time, that, that flame diminishes. I mean, maybe the fuel burns out. You know, maybe you're, you're running out of, of whatever. Oh, is this going to burn out? I hope not. Um, although that's probably a pretty good metaphor, too. And, and you know, you, you lose that first quickening. So the psalmist prays that God would restore the joy of salvation. And if we really want to understand the joy of that salvation, we've got to understand where it comes from. Where does that spark come from? It comes from the first time you responded to the Lord. The first time. Now here's the thing. Every time you respond to God in obedience, every time you respond to God to a prompting, every time you respond to God to, through insight or, 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 or acts of grace and charity and service, you're going to get a little spark. And if you feel like your spirituality is run dry, like your Christianity is stale, maybe one thing you might consider is that you're, you're not responding anymore. Maybe one thing you might consider is that the, the newness, I mean the fresh expression, the fresh experience of knowing Jesus and following Jesus is something that's not really in your life anymore because you, you sort of know about Jesus, you, you got Jesus, you're, you're settled. I mean, you're, you're, you're a Christian through and through and through, except you're just... Um, sort of spiritually lethargic. So you might think about, like, you know, I mean, every, every day I'm studying the Scripture, and every, every single day in my life I'm finding new things in the Bible that I didn't know were there before. I'm thinking about things in the Bible that in ways I haven't thought about before. Are, are you? I mean, if I got this many years and this much education and this much practice going into the Scripture and finding something new, um, do you? I mean, because I've read the whole thing. Have you? Because um, I think if you do, I think if you devote yourself to it, if you think about it, if you talk about it, you know, you, you repeat the scripture throughout the day, you kind of play with it in your mind. I, I bet you, I bet you every single time you go to the Bible, you'll find something new. And when you do, it'll be like a match. It's struck in your spirit. And it's not just Bible reading that matters. I mean, that's a great way for us to hear from God. It's so practical, so easy. You got it on your phone. You got Bibles laying around your house. I mean, most of us have more Bibles than we've ever even really opened. Certainly more Bibles than we've ever really made from Genesis through to the end of Revelation. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a convenient, easy way to hear from God. But what about in worship? You ever try something new in worship? You ever try some new expression in worship? Like, you ever close your eyes during the music and pray along with the music, or pray along with the lyrics of the song? You, you, you ever pray in concert with the song? Do you ever tune the song out entirely and just open up your heart to God and use that as a time that you can pray out loud because nobody can hear you anyway because the music's so loud? Uh, you ever lift your hands? You ever kneel? You ever bow your head? Have you ever tried any postures in worship? Well, uh, maybe that's not all your thing. My point is just that it's the newness. It's the response that quickens your spirit, that gives you that the, the, the joy of your salvation. Because joy is connected to response. Joy is connected to obedience. When the Father says, go, you go. And the result is that you get this quickening, this, this, this movement of God's Spirit inside of you. And what about practices in prayer? I mean, there are literally a million different ways to pray. You can pray through icons. You can pray on your knees. You can pray in the Spirit. You can pray along with the Scriptures. You can pray with props like um, a, a labyrinth. You can pray with, with props like, like prayer beads. I mean, the, the, you can pray through stained glass. You can pray through the Scriptures chronologically. You can pray along with a particular biblical author. You can pray along with the great heroes of the faith in prayer. Have you done any of that? Have you, done, have you, have you tried that? Because I guarantee you, when you try new things, when you respond to what God is saying to you about you in your life, the joy of your salvation comes back. And it's your responsibility and my responsibility to keep that joy fresh. And we do that by responding to God's Spirit. of every blessing tune my heart to sing thy grace streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of 
loudest praise Teach me some melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues above Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it Mount of thy redeeming love Oh, to grace how great a debtor Daily I'm constrained to be Let thy goodness like a fetter Bind my wandering heart to thee Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it Prone to leave the God I love Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it Seal it for thy courts above Today I want to thank Katie. Um, Katie has been a huge help in the last year. When we opened up Outdoor Church, she helped make all the signs that we welcomed you with, and she also helped a ton with all the origami birds you see in the auditorium. So thanks you, thank you, thanks you. <laughs> thank you, Katie. I'm going to give you a five dollar gift card to Starbucks. Salvation means health. To be saved is to be whole, at peace, one and sound. Perhaps we experience being saved more than just once. Grace and peace everybody. Thanks for being with us today on the West Winds Breviary. <laughs>